All right. How's it going, everybody? I uh, hope uh, everybody's doing great. Thank you for joining me to this new uh, abstract oil painting live session with your host, Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. <laughs> uh, make yourself welcome. Grab yourself some coffee like myself. I don't know. Maybe you don't do coffee. Maybe you do tea. I don't know. Grab your, your favorite beverage. And let's go for it. Okay? Here we go. This is going to be an abstract painting session because sometimes... Uh, um, let's, let's call it realist, right? Realist uh, or realistic painters uh, also need uh, a bit of abstraction. It's, it's also help here and there. Uh, I'm not much of a, uh, I, I do create realistic work, I don't always do it, but um, mine is more intuitive. And creating abstract work helps me explore that side a little bit more. So, I'm going to, oh, check this out, this is, this is one of the coolest little things ever. This little, uh, I don't know, I don't sell it just in case you're wondering, but, but I, like, I like using it, it's just very, I don't know, it's very direct, it's like, ah, ah. <laughs> so here we go, all right, I'm going to divide it, and I really have no main intention, I just know, uh, based on experience, you want to follow the rule of thirds, if you don't, it's fine, I've talked about the rule of thirds before, if you haven't uh, figured out the rule of thirds, go check out my videos on that. Uh, just type in on, on YouTube, Jose Trujillo, Rule of Thirds. I explain it better than everybody else. My, my, my stuff is simple. So if you want simple and to the point, you're going to love my videos. Now, why am I doing this? It's a free flow. I don't know if you've seen some of the, the, the finest, in my opinion, especially the older, the older men and women artists. Um, whether they paint abstract or realism, they tend to kind of play. It's a play, you know? It's a playful thing. It's not so serious. If it's serious, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe art, it's, it's not, you know, it's not a... Uh, maybe, it's, maybe, maybe, maybe if it's too serious, you can't really enjoy it, you know? And, and I don't know, I, I follow what what Renoir said. I tend to follow that. You know, if it's not if it's not happy, if it's not if it's not if it doesn't create joy, why do it? You know, there's already enough of that in the world that does not create joy and and uh, and it doesn't have to be happiness, because I know happiness is fleeting. Like we all know that, right? You can't be happy all the time. Maybe you can, I don't know. I can't. I, I, I become happy and then I become, you know, not that I become, but, but you know, it's, it's just kind of fleeting. There's that, there's that moment where I'm excited and there's a moment where I'm more uh, uh, not so excited and more peaceful, right? There's moments that I'm enthusiastic, very enthusiastic, and, but I don't feel that overwhelming excitement. It's different, you know, so... So to do this, you don't have to understand color wheel, okay? Skip that. You don't have to understand uh, color theory. You can skip that. It doesn't have to look like anything. What it is, is that it's, it's, it's allowing you to be a child again. It's allowing you to play, you know? It's allowing you to, to, to explore that side of you that maybe you, you, uh, you suppressed or, or, or people told you, you know, now it's time to be a grown-up now. And, you know, it got, it got put away. Well, here, I'm summing it. <laughs> I'm calling it back. <laughs> if you ever once, if you, of course, right? If you were a child, what a question. <laughs> Come back to your, to, to your uh, infant roots. Come back to them. Uh, be it, it will be a richer experience because because you'll 
you now have the understanding of an adult, of course, right? But but with that with that uh, childlike curiosity. And this, doing this type of exercise, I, I assure you, even if you are not a, a working artist or whatever, you do this for, for fun, you do this for, as a hobby, this will help you. Be, uh, the reason I'm saying it's not to sound cliche, it's because I, it's, it's helped me in other facets of my life. So if, this might help you in your, I'm sure it will, if you do it enough. Uh, it will help you in other places of your life, you know, your, your emotional uh, place, aspect of your life. Especially when you, when you do it, when you do it fast, uh, but not desperate. This is, this is what I always try to tell people. You gotta be fast, you gotta be quick, but you can't be desperate. Okay? What I mean desperate is, is, is you want to rush through it. You don't want to rush through it. But you also don't want to... Um, you don't want to go bananas over, did I get the, the color right? Then, then at that point, it doesn't matter whether you do it slow, you're still doing it. You know, you're still, you're still holding yourself back. You know? There is a time for that. I'm not saying that that is not important. Of course it is. There is a time for that. There is a time for, for color theory. There is a time for composition. There is a time for, for, uh, for all of that. You can even use the back of your brush, the back end of your brush. Make it so cool. You know, there's a speed will come up of, of being so zen, so present. I know it sounds so esoteric, but hear me out here. <laughs> I'm not teaching you anything you don't know. I'm not, I'm, 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 if anything, I, I'd like to remind you of it. Speed will come out. Do not worry about speed. Speed comes out of being in the moment. Speed is one of those things that it's, it's a, uh, don't worry about it. The same as don't worry about what the thing is looking like. That is not, that is not important right now. You can even change brushes, as I'm going to do right now. I have one of these super expensive $1 brushes that I found at a hardware store. Those of you who say, art supplies are so expensive. You know what's expensive, guys? Paint. <laughs> paint is expensive. The rest of the stuff you can find, you can find at, at great prices. But paint? Paint is a little harder to find at, at low price. <laughs> and you shouldn't either. Unless, unless it's quality paint, then yeah, by all means. But you want to be able, some people have asked me, how do I get, you know, when I paint something and then it, it, it changes or this or that, check the paint you're using. If it's, if it's, uh, if it's not good quality paint, and I'm not talking about that, you, you have to get the most expensive, of course not, right? You don't have to do that, nor, nor do I agree with that, especially if you're, if you're starting out and especially if you're, if you're, uh, if you're still doing a lot of practicing. But you should be getting paint that has pigmentation, enough sufficient pigmentation. So, so your art, uh, the people that sell artwork may not even know that. Okay? So maybe you have to do a little bit of, you know, talk to a fellow artist. Uh, that's the best way to do it. Because the people selling the paint, I often find I'm not trying to put anyone down, I'm sorry. Uh, many times they're not working artists. Many times they, they, they tend to, to, to uh, love art. They create artwork here and there. But, but they're not necessarily uh, uh, creating artwork constantly, consistently. So they really don't have much understanding of, of what, how to guide you when buying paint. And you might be a lot of doing a lot of trial and error. So the best way to do it is, is talk to a fellow artist, someone who's you know someone who you admire their work, or, and their of course it has to be the media, right? You can't if you want to buy oil paint, you can't talk to a to an acrylic painter or watercolor painter because they might they might know, but chances are they they they, they will not know. Right? So talk to a to someone that uses that media. A 
that's my little uh, and uh, if you're watching this on YouTube well leave your questions I I am still extremely uh, attentive to to answering back I'm sorry if some someone out there I haven't answered back I pay a lot of attention because I just care about that you know I care about getting back to people and so if you have a question please put it in the comments below and I will I will get back to you like that man check that out check it out and then we can do something like this look just because of you know why not the question here is not can I should I the question is why haven't I done this before <laughs> Guys, I'll leave you with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. I am an artist. I love creating artwork. I love the thrill of it. I love the... the how real it is to create artwork. Whether you're a painter, you're a musician, you're a sculptor, you are uh, a poet, you're a writer, you're doing novels. Coming out, <laughs> online at least, I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, I have a lot of um, awesome cool stuff to share with you guys. I love sharing my process and, and the things that I've learned and the things that haven't worked for me. It might serve you, I don't know, it might help you. I can't decide that for you, but nevertheless. I'm here. The name is Jose Trujillo. This is an abstract painting session. You saw my palette. You saw my palette. You saw me paint. You know what this thing is about. It's not that serious. Okay? The seriousness is in the vision of the artist, as, I, as I've expressed before. The seriousness is the more you do it, you develop what's called a voice or vision in artwork. That's where it becomes serious. And I'm not talking about a seriousness of... of I don't know, some, some mental seriousness, you know, I'm talking about, that's where the, the, the that's where the, 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 the real deal comes out, right? So, I'll leave you with that, this is one of my abstract little pieces, it measures 8 by 8 inches, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will be talking to you guys soon again, take care, bye-bye.